Are you scared to get more sales because you already have your hands full with your existing clients? Have you tried delegating your tasks only to get them back again because you ended up redoing what they did and you ended up wasting time instead of saving time? Are you willing to try to delegate again if you can do it more easily and more effectively this time? Hi, this is Mami N, your Mami Negosyo. And in this video, let's dive into the art of effective delegation. Whether you're open to delegating or not, I hope you can be open to the idea that delegation is a skill that can lighten your load and propel your business to new heights. You see, you don't have to carry the weight of your business alone. If you're here in the Philippines, there are hundreds of thousands of people out there who can help you. Are you ready to discover the power of delegation? Let's get started. Idea 1. Delegation is a game changer for any business owner. Yes, including you. By learning how to delegate effectively, you can form a team, empower them, streamline your operations, and find more time for your loved ones and for yourself. I used to think that delegation was just about passing on my tasks. I did not realize that it was that type of thinking that led me to fail. I just asked a new hire to watch me do what I do and then expect her to be able to learn it in a day. How wrong I was. After a lot of trial and error, I finally figured out that delegation is about giving the right instructions, trusting other people, and letting them take on some responsibility. No, not just the task. Notice that I did not say tasks, but responsibilities. Yes, we begin by identifying tasks that can be delegated without compromising the quality of your output. Again, the most important thing here is to provide crystal clear instructions, making sure that these are fully and completely understood, and then trusting that they can do it. I hope you're inspired by the research results showing that businesses that delegate effectively, they often experience improved productivity and employee satisfaction. And when our employees are happily producing, we are of course more happily able to enjoy more time to do other things that have more value for us, right? Let's now go to idea number two, empowering your team. Now, whether you're just all alone now in your business as a solopreneur or you're already starting to build your team, know that this team is your greatest asset. Invest time in training and mentoring them to make sure that they have the skills and confidence to handle delegated tasks. Encourage questions and feedback and build a collaborative environment instead of a top-down military-style approach. So just like Susan, Susan was a business owner who used to do everything by herself. After listening to my podcast about delegation, she transformed her business by empowering her team to take ownership of projects. This allowed her to focus on strategic growth. Empowering her team was the key that opened the door of possibility for her to grow her business. Are you ready to build an empowered team? Idea number three, setting expectations and accountability. In delegation, make sure that communication is always clearly given and understood. Remember to always define expectations, deadlines, and desired outcomes. After communicating all these well, be consistent in implementing regular check-ins to track progress and provide constructive feedback. Hold your team accountable while offering support to show them that you have their back always. One very helpful thing to do is to use project management tools to streamline communication and monitor task progress effectively. So let's meet Roberta, an entrepreneur who once struggled with delegation. When she came to me, she was clearly so overworked that she no longer had time to attend to her appearance. She had so many strong beliefs against the hiring of employees, and the thought of delegating her tasks to them was definitely a no-no. It took us quite some time to dig into her childhood to find out what is it really making her refuse to hire and to trust anyone. In many cases like this, all one has to be aware of is that it is a strong belief that's blocking her way. And once the awareness comes, the rest would be easy. So as I led her through some close-eyed process, she was able to identify how those beliefs all started. She also knew how those beliefs have kept her playing small since then. And they have also kept her stuck in the many times when she had turned down all the opportunities she could have had to move forward in her life as well as her business. So after just a few sessions with her, she became open to adopting effective delegation practices. And slowly, she saw her business began to flourish. Her journey highlights that delegation is not just about lightening your load. It's about nurturing your team and consequently growing your business. 
it also showed us that sometimes even when we do not know how or even when we know how and what to do, something way back in our history, in our life history, could keep us stuck. And talking things over with a qualified coach can help one process the painful experiences and then move forward with more courage and certainty. Roberta's experience shows us that effective delegation is a catalyst for business growth and also for one's personal well-being. So to recap, here's your path to effective delegation. Understand the essence of delegation and build trust. Empower your team through training and mentorship and set clear expectations. Hold accountability and communicate effectively. So, if you're eager to master the art of effective delegation and achieve more in your business, I invite you to join my free newsletter. You'll receive exclusive insights and tips tailored to women entrepreneurs just like you. Just click the newsletter link below to subscribe and let's embark on this journey of delegation together. Remember, by mastering delegation, you're not just lightening your business load, you're nurturing a thriving team and reclaiming precious time for yourself. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, stay inspired, stay empowered, and keep reaching for your dreams. This is Mommy N, your Mommy Negosyo, saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! Yeah.